Hello, my lovely friends. This is Grace, and welcome to process number 68 for me. Um, I just want to first thank you for still um, keeping in tabs with me. And um, like I said in my haul video before this, that um, life has taken over and it's been hard for me to scrapbook. But um, I do have three videos to share with you in the next couple of weeks. And so I hope that you stay tuned for these videos and um, I'm also toying with the idea of maybe doing a series with um, double page spreads. I have a lot of pages that I need to do that entails me to do double page spreads so um, let me know if you guys are interested in this and maybe I will make sure to block out a good enough time to make a few of those double page spread. So going back to the layout, um, this layout was made with my September homemade scrapbook kit. I know it's already the middle of October but um, like I said life just um, didn't give me enough time to scrapbook so but anyways um, I'm still working with that um, kit and I think I had made I want to say six layouts with that kit so I'm hoping to be done by the end of this weekend and and then start putting together my October homemade kit um, so this layout was based off of a sketch and I will make sure to link that in the description below. Uh, I also entered this into a um, recipe challenge at scrapbook.com and uh, the recipe called for doily staples, uh, distressing, more than one photo, and my choice from the layout, the sample layout. And so what I got from the sample layout was the color greens. I have some green in here as well as using some small letter stickers. So um, the sketch had um, banners on the bottom of the layout and so that's what I'm doing right now. I have this old, I think it's called perforated accent book from Dear Lizzie. Basically it just has, um, I would say the paper is like cardstock. It's kind of thick and then it just has blocks of accents and so it's like the the sticker books but instead of a sticker it's just a perforated paper. Um, anyways, I cut up a few of them and then I'm going to cut them as banners. So I love this idea because even though I didn't have much pattern paper scraps to work with because of this sketchbook, um, why do I keep saying sketchbook? Because of this book of little accents, I was able to add more um, patterns on my layout. Um, without having to rummage through all my scraps. And I also was able to use up the items that is in my homemade kit. I also added a couple of Gossamer Blue Project Life Card. This yellow one as well as the one, the white one that says here and now is part of that um, 3x4 card which I just cut up to make my strips. And then the gray paper is from Ellie Studio. It is from a love line. I can't remember what it was. And then of course the the dotted paper is Recollections. Um, the bottom one that has kind of a, a light blue turquoise um, paper is the back side of that Ellie Studio uh, wide striped paper. And then that multicolored stripe paper is from Cosmo Cricut. So as you saw, I just um, clipped the doily in not half, but I, I cut it in two pieces. So one is of course smaller than the other and then I put them in two different places on my layout. And I am using a, I think it's a Hero Arts, I might be wrong, but it was a dark green. Can you tell that I haven't been doing this process videos for a while? I'm so sorry, I'm very rusty. Um, I used my makeup applicator that I got at the Dollar Tree to ink up the edges of my papers and I used that instead of a blending tool. 
And the, here I am, I'm adhering the papers. Also, I added the notebook punch on the top of this paper just to give it a little bit more accent. And as always, if you've seen my layouts before, I always cut the center of my background paper just because um, I like to save those for another project. That's how I'm able to utilize all of my items. And I decided to adhere the doily with some advanced strength glue dots so to make sure that it doesn't um, fall out of my, my page because I'm not sure how well my other adhesive would have done if it was used for that one. Now I was deciding to ink up the edges of the white tabs that I've created there. And I'm sure if I had a tab punch, it would have been faster to do this, but I also like just doing it myself because like as you see, this blue one is a lot thicker. So I think um, having the tabs or these flags um, in different sizes also creates a nice look to the page because then they're not all the same style. So a little bit about the pictures. Um, I have one four by six and then four two by three images. And these pictures are just from a birthday celebration that we had um, in 2013. So I found out uh, that Tucano's, well, this was, I think this was before this year because I think they changed the rules. But anyways, if you sign up, they will, give you a postcard on the on your birth month and you get to have a dinner on them so your dinner is free if you guys don't know what Tucano's is it's a Brazilian restaurant it's an all-you-can-eat restaurant and it's so fun because um, they specialize in different kinds of I want to say barbecued meat but I might be wrong maybe roasted meat is more is the better explanation for it anyways um, they just go around your table. They have this little thing that, like a wood thing that uh, on top, one side is blue, no, green, sorry. One side is green and one side is red. So if the green side of this wood circle thing is on top, that means that the, the people that are holding the meat, they will just go around and then they will offer you the meats that they have on the sticks. So whether it's chicken, turkey, sausage, or some kind of beef, or um, they also have like grilled pineapple, which is really good. Anyways, um, you just they just go around and they will continually go to your to your table if it's on the green side. And then once you're done eating, you just turn it over and put it on the red side, and they won't won't go to your table. And so this was the first year in this picture. It's the first year that we actually went to Tucano's. And luckily, my, my son and I share a birth month because he was born three days after my birthday. So we were able to have our meals for free. And then um, it was just my, we just paid for my daughter and my husband, which was a really good deal because these places, they go for like $20, $23 for a dinner. Um, and we went on a lunch just so we can save. Um, and so we had a lot of food and we were stuffed to the gills, of course, but it was a great experience. And also it was kind of funny because we didn't really, you know how in the restaurants they sing to you with a birthday? Well, I think I'm getting too old for that. I don't, I don't really care for that. But apparently my son, who at this time was 11, no, 10. He turned 10 and he was like, well, I want them to sing to me. And so we actually had them sing to him and I videotaped that um, time, but he was so happy that the waiters got to sing to him. So I thought that was pretty funny. And um, I'm sure I'm just going to do that additional journaling in a different lay uh, layout because I just did, uh, with my journaling, I just wrote about this is this was a birthday celebration and this was our first time in Tucano's and we were stuffed to the gills. So going back to the layout, I decided to do two types of letter stickers for my title and I just did birthday celebration. The birthday is made with a chipboard letter stickers from Basic Gray and then the blue small 
stickers is from the dollar spot at Target. And then I'm also adding these corrugated stars from Maya Road, and I only had two. So you know me with my visual triangles. So I decided to grab pink buttons. Um, I decided to go pink because my daughter's skirt on the picture is, has a tone of pink. So I decided to go with pink. And then I'm going to thread the ribbons with some twine. Actually, it's not twine. I think it's more of a crochet thread. And so I picked three of them so I can still have my visual triangle even though I only have those two stars. And I think it worked out. So um, I already added the staples on the sides of the bottom striped paper. And then as you also saw, I added some wood veneers. Those are from Chic Tags. And I just inked them up with the same green ink that I used to ink up the edges of the paper just so um, it will have more color because it looked like when it was on, in its raw state, it was just not looking very well blended with the rest of the page. So that's what I did. Hi there friends, sorry about that. It got cut off. Um, I, I forgot to fast forward the other video. So um, it, I had to stop my recording and then do all the fixes and then come back to this one. So I'm now I'm just adhering everything down. I use that extra strength glue dots again to adhere my chipboard, I mean my corrugated stars and then my buttons to finish it off. And then I believe I'm going to write my journaling. Oh, I guess I am just brushing off something. Oh, so because I had taken out the paper on the back and then I put two papers um, together on the back side, it was a little flimsy. So I added um, some tape on the on the back side just so that that portion in between those two papers that meet together because they weren't overlapping, they were just meeting. And so it, there was kind of an opening spot over there. So I just grabbed some scotch tape and just taped that down so they, it doesn't move. And then here I'm going to use my um, roller date stamp and I'm just going to stamp the date and then continue on with my handwritten journaling um, over to the side of that that date um, stamp date and I'm using my Sharpie which is now my favorite pen to use for my handwritten journaling I just love the point of it it's not too thin and it's not too thick and there is my page I think um, I set it aside and then what I did when I came back was I added some splatters. There you go. Oh, and some stickers, some cloud stickers. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again and um, I hope you have a very crafty day. Bye guys.